Giving all praise and glory to the Most High for another ability to come together to honor the new moon. As always, we're going to start off with Colossians 3 and 17. Colossians 3 and 17, and it reads, And whatsoever you do in word, whatever you say, or deed, whatever action you do, do all by Hashem of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, that's in the name of the anointed Savior, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father, by Hashem of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. So all that we say and do is going to be in the name of the anointed Savior, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai which is the anointed savior. So we'll get right into it. Let's go to Numbers, the 10th chapter and the 10th verse. Just to show how what we're dealing with is biblical and it's part of our culture of what we've done in the past and we're supposed to do it. We'll see how long we're supposed to do it because he'll let you know whether or not you're supposed to stop. We're supposed to stop doing it. So Numbers 10 and 10, it says, And in the day of your gladness, and in your solemn days, and in the beginnings of your months, which this is the beginning of the month, when you look out and you see that there is, you'll see there won't be any moon today. And if the day starts now until tomorrow evening. It's evening to evening. That's why... Esau, he put, it, he, he, he put it at 12 o'clock. He added more time to the time that the day actually begins. But it starts at 12 o'clock anyway. Another day starts at 12 o'clock tonight, you see. But it actually starts when it's dark, when there's no more light. That's when the day starts. Evening to evening, when you read Genesis, the first chapter, it tells you from evening to evening is the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, sixth day, the seventh day. So we're back on time with how we identify this, like beginnings of your months is the first day of the month. It could be the first day of the month. So we'll count from this day like we counted from last month. It was the, um, I think the evening of the 10th, which is the 11th. You understand? The 11th started on the evening of the 10th. From the evening of the 10th to the evening of, to the next evening is the 10th. Just like it would be in Esau, except you, you just subtract so many hours, he's gonna start his day at 12 o'clock. When, when there's no more light and it's dark, that's when the day starts, really. You see what I'm saying? In the, from the Bible aspect. So today, like we, it started on the 10th, so the Feast of Dedication, which is 25 days after the first day of the ninth month, which is his 12th month. So it's not the beginning of the year starts in the springtime, when the bears come out of hibernation and, you know, uh, you see the flowers blooming, the, the leaves start to come back on the trees. That's the beginning. Like right now, I'm looking outside, even though we're in California, you see all the tree, leaves off the trees. All over the place, right? Y'all gotta rake them leaves, right? Because it's fall till it's winter. You see what I'm saying? So all these things are, when we go back to how we did things, like I say, it's the day of our gladness, the beginning of our must, and you realize, okay, well, that's how we count to be able to determine the feast days, like you said, it's the 25th day of the ninth month, which was last month, starting on the, the new moon, the first day of the month, like just the first day of the month today, right? So 30 days prior to this was the new moon. The last time we celebrated the new moon, which was on the 10th, then the 25th day, 25 days from there was the feast of dedication. We dedicated our temple back, where you hear the Jewish people call it Hanukkah. But they have nothing to do with that. It's us. We're the ones that are the real Israelites, Judas Maccabees. They can't, they can't give no information on him. He was a brother. See what I'm saying? He was a brother that took down the Edomites, who are the so-called white people that defile our temple. Like our, we have our church here. They defiled it. So we couldn't go in there and worship the Most High. You know, by sacrifice animal swine and all that. We just went through that. We're going to, the, the, the last day of the feast is tomorrow. You see? It will be tomorrow, it's eight days that we celebrate the feast. So it says, you understand, so this is the first day of our month. It has nothing to do with Esau, it's just you look at the moon, you go outside, you won't see it, it's just black. Then it starts to create a moon. 
That's what's called the new moon because it starts to create a moon. Then you'll see the crescent moon, then the half moon, then the three quarter, then the full moon, which is on the 15th day from now. You can count. 15th day from now, you can see a full moon. Then you count from 15 days, it's going to depreciate back to three quarter, half moon, quarter moon, then it's going to be a new moon again. Then we have a feast again. Every, every first day of the month, he told us we're supposed to have a feast. So it says, Numbers 10 and 10, also in the day of your gladness and in your solemn days and in the beginnings of your months, which will be the first day of the month, ye shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings that they may be to you for a memorial before your power. I am the most high your power. So that's in the law. So now, now, if you go to Romans 12 and 1, that was a sacrifice. Hamashiach Yahushai is the ultimate sacrifice for us today. He's our sacrifice. He's, he's the one that sacrificed his life for the children of Israel. Now, when you look at Romans 12 and 1, this is for us today. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable unto the Most High, that means following His rules and regulations, His laws, statutes, commandments, which is your reasonable service. So it's your reasonable service to do this, to follow what He tells us to do. He gave us laws, statutes, commandments, which the Spirit that gave me to say, rules and regulations. Just like you have rules and regulations in this world. They tell you you've got to follow the law of the land, but if you follow the laws of the Most High, you're going, you're going to naturally follow what you're supposed to do in this land. You know, that's, that's possible that you could do without breaking the Most High's laws. So it's your reasonable service. So, and not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds. Your minds have to be renewed. Because the way we've been programmed to think is to think like the world we were born in and raised in. It says that ye may prove that is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. The only way you're going to prove to the Most High that you accept him for what it is that he gave us is to do what he said do. And it's not hard. He tells us, you know, if you love me, keep my commandments. We just went over the Ten Commandments, but the Ten Commandments are synopsis of the 613 Commandments, which is dealing with how we serve the Most High and how we serve each other. 613 laws that he gave us of how we serve him and how we serve each other. That's what it's all about. Love the Most High with all our high mind and strength and love thy neighbors thyself. It's all based about around that, how we deal with each other and how we, first and foremost, how we serve him. So let's go to Psalms, the 81st chapter, and the first verse. And you see where this began. It says, Psalms 81 and 1. It says, sing aloud unto the Most High our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the Most High power of Jacob. So here, he said, you know, he's the power of Jacob, it says God, but the Europeans invented the word God and Lord, and they inserted this in there because the original King James 6 11 Bible, and we, we, wasn't, we wasn't dealing with this word because God is spelled what backwards? Dog, right, yes, you got it. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. Give me some of that, brother. <laughs> that's right, dog spelled backwards. You see what I'm saying? So that's what the Mashiach of Shai called them. But see, they ain't gonna tell you that. But that's dog spelled backwards. And they put that in there. They made us call them God and Lord. You can't deny that because they set up themselves to be the most high. They set themselves up to be Christ. And that's a lie. That man named Caesar Borgia, the second son of Pope Alexander, the sixth of Rome. You can go on Showtime and Google in the Borgia. They got a whole series on them. You know what they call them? Like you see the last upper picture that they have? It's called the first crime family. That's what they call them. Everybody bowing down thinking that this is Christ and the disciples. There's only five people in that picture. There's only five people. That's the Borgia family. You got a Mashiach Yavashai in there four times, his brother in there four times, his daddy sitting at the head of the table, his mother standing up, and his sister sitting right beside him. 
And they got it, I mean, they put it on Showtime, it's the end of the world now, they don't care what you're gonna do about it. <laughs> you can't do nothing, right? <laughs> That's how they think about it. So it says, verse two, Psalms 81 and two. It says, take a song and bring hither the timbre, the present harp with the psalmry. This is music. They bring forth music. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon. That's what we're dealing with. The first day of the month is called the new moon. In the time appointed, which is the time appointed, which is the first day of the month. On our solemn feast day. It's a solemn feast day. Say, for this was a statue for Israel and a law of the most high power of Jacob. See, this is a law that the most high ordained, not something that we created. This is a law that's a statue for Israel and a law of the most high of Jacob, power of Jacob. Listen at this. This he ordained in Joseph when Joseph was in Egypt before we even came in there for a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt where I heard a language that I understood not. So Egyptians, the Hamites, their Hamites, we're from Shem. He said he didn't even understand their language. Rumi came down and confounded everybody's language during the Tower of Babel. That's when everybody spoke Hebrew. And he came down and confounded everybody's language. They were building a tower to go up into the sky just in case it rained again, Nimrod. And the most I came down and confounded all the different languages that you see these nations have now. That's where it came from. When he came down and confounded all their languages so they couldn't communicate anymore. They couldn't, you know, I need straw. They didn't know what they were talking about. So he separated them and gave them their own language. Once he gave Israel our land. So now, some people might go to Colossians 2 and 16. But some people might say, okay, well, it's irrelevant. The feast days and the, the, uh, the days, they'll use this to say, you can't judge me, but this is for we that are doing what's right according to what the Most High told us to do according to his laws, the best of our ability. Like, I mean, we doing it, so you can't say it can't be done because we're doing it. It's being done right now for all those across the world that are honoring this first day of the month. You know, it's being done every month. Colossians, the second chapter and the 16th verse. And this is for we that's doing what's right. Say, let no man therefore judge you in me, what you eat, concerning the dietary laws, what you can't eat and what you can't eat, that you're following, or in drink, whatever you drink, or in respect of an holy day, or of the new moon. So it can't be talking to someone that's not doing it. <laughs> He's telling us we that are following the holy days, you know, the dietary laws, and honoring the new moon feast, or of the Sabbath days. Say, so don't let nobody judge you in doing what's right. The so people try and judge you against what you're doing that's right just because they don't know what's right. So this is what he said, let no man judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of a holy day or of the new moon, which went honor in the day, or of the Sabbath days, which, is a, which are a shadow of things to come. But the body is of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, which we all together, coming together in his name for the power that we get from the Most High, because no man come to the Father except for by him. So we pray in the name of the anointed Savior. So let nobody judge you for doing what's right. That's why I said, get St. John, what he said, St. John 14 and 15, because the Most High ordained the new moon as a law. So Mashiach Yahweh Shai said this in John 14 and 15. So if ye love me, so if you love a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, keep my commandments. Say, keep my commandments. If you love him, the people say, I love him, but you don't do what he say do. He say, hey, if you love me, keep my commandments. Second John 5 and 6 is right after uh, 1 John. 
in the back, be right before Jude, you got third John, you got second John. I'll just read verse uh, six. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. You gotta walk after his commandments. So, this is what he said in Luke 6 and 46. See, once you know and you, you hear this, you, you understand this, then you gotta apply this in your life. That's why he said you're gonna beat those that know with many, many stripes, and those that don't, with fewer stripes. Luke 6 and 46, it's in the Gospels. Say, why call ye me? Mashiach Yahweh Shai, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, whatever name you use in calling on the anointed Savior, and do not the things which I say. Say, why are you calling on me, but you won't do what I say? Hmm. He said, whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings, hear what he's saying, because he comes in the final book. This is him. He's the word of the Most High. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house, he built a house and dig deep, dig down deep in the earth and laid the foundation on a rock, put semen on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house, just beating against that house, and could not shake it, it could not fall down, for it was founded upon a rock. You know, everything is built upon, you know, no matter how deep they go, they put that cement right at the bottom. And they build it upon that cement, right? That's what he's saying. And when the flood came, it couldn't shake that house. But he that heareth, they hear the word, and doeth not, don't do what he say do, is like a man that without a foundation, building house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat, vehemently and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great, because he didn't build it upon that rock. You see, when you understand, what is that rock? Spiritually, what is that rock? First Corinthians 10 and 4, right after Romans. 1 Corinthians 10 and 4. This is when we came as the Israelites through the Red Sea. You almost like open up the Red Sea that we could go through on dry ground, coming out of our captivity under the Egyptians. That's what it said. That's what we all did. 1 Corinthians 10 and 4. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. So we gotta build this foundation upon what he's saying. So that when the things come in this world that's prophesied is gonna happen, then we can stand. Cause we're a house, a house divided against itself shall not stand. So we're a house, the house of Israel, who lives in a house family. So it's hip talk, but you gotta understand, it's the hip talk of the past, you know what I mean? There like, I'm going to my, we said tilt or whatever y'all, what y'all say now? Y'all got a word for house? Did you know, huh? Pad. Crib. Crib. Tilt. I heard a brother say the tilt. You know, these different names that they have, they're going to come up with different, they're going to make up different names in their generations, you see? As we made up different names in our generations, you see what I'm saying? So, but you got to stay abreast of what they say, or else they be talking around you. You don't know what they're talking about. See what I'm saying? But that's the way we do. That's the same way we always have been. But that rock that we got to build this foundation on is the Mashiach Yahweh Shah. And he's telling us what to do and how to do it. Uh, John 14 and 21. St. John 14 and 21. Because you see, you're going to keep hearing commandments. We've got to deal with that too because a lot of people think the commandments are not the laws, but it is. Uh, St. John 14 and 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that 